Good morning, everyone. Today, I will be teaching you how to make an omelet. My name is Stephen Coleman Rausch, and I do like to cook. I particularly like omelets because they are very versatile. And what I usually do is I'm mixing olive oil here, and I put in meat and onions and mushrooms and vegetables and tomatoes and I really do like to use a lot of spices um, but one of the, the main ingredients that makes this one really good is mole paste it's a sort of a Hispanic uh, concoction <laughs> I sort of do it the lazy way I just pull right out of the thing and mix it in with the olive oil and I put a little bit of lemon juice in there with the meat so I put in the meat the onions the lemon juice the mole paste into the olive oil and then I heat it on medium and then I get all my ingredients together which would be you know eggs cheese uh, mushrooms and and um, vegetables tomatoes uh, basically anything you want to throw in the great thing about omelets is they're so versatile you can put anything you want in them they're basically like a savory crepe that's a good way to think about them. You really want that uh, the egg to be thin. And uh, for that I use a pizza dish. <laughs> Such as a, like a pizza pan. I've got about three of them. If one gets dirty and I'm feeling particularly lazy and I didn't wash it the night before, then I can just use the an another one. Um, and then of course I use a small uh, saucepan. A small sauce of... Uh, <clears throat> thing <laughs> not a pan uh, wow that's weird I forgot the word anyway I use that and I use that to mix all the ingredients that I'm going to be putting into the omelet and then I smother the finished omelet with cheese and so I'm using a Mavavi video editor which has its faults but this is just sort of a little instructional video project I'm doing here and and so I dice the onions and make them in little bits and then I toss those in and I usually tear apart the the beef with my fingers um, that's probably the best way I do like to use canned vegetables and, uh, and uh, it's, it's very lazy but <laughs> uh, canned things are you know that keep longer um, that's probably it is for sure healthier to use fresh stuff so I, I always try to use fresh onions for flavor of course without the onions it, it, it's, it's clearly not as flavorful without the onions I'd say but fresh stuff is definitely better but if you don't want all the hassle of continuously going out and buying fresh food you can stockpile a lot of cans so you never run out of it and then I usually put uh, my vegetables into uh, Tupperware storage containers and so I have everything ready to go into an omelet so one of the things that the reason why I, why I like omelets for is it's a very ideal food choice for meal prepping. So if you're on a bulking diet and you're trying to get like really ripped, uh, omelets are a great way to go. You can eat them for you know breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, you can make them into any types you want. It's just very easy and versatile food choice but specifically for working out if you put in your vegetables well first of all you're already in protein with eggs but you, you can put your your vegetables into it and you can get all of your nutrients from that uh, if you put fish in it you can get your magnesium you can even put bananas or fruits into it you can get your potassium that way so you don't cramp up or have any issues uh, with fish of course fish oil uh, helps you um, think better <laughs> yeah. improves your cognitive capacity or something like that 
So let's talk about why we're using a pizza dish here. You really want something flat. If it's not flat, then it doesn't cook, cook the eggs. That is, don't cook all the way through. So use the pizza pan specifically for the eggs and, of course, the sauce, um, small sauce pot. I suppose that's a good way to say it. You use that for all of your ingredients, such as vegetables and meat and all the other things in the olive oil. Uh, I do use olive oil. I put a little bit of butter and then olive oil together for the non-sticking agent before I put the eggs down. Before, Actually, before I put the eggs in the blender because that way they, the butter has a chance to heat up. You don't want to leave it sitting too long though because you don't want to burn the butter in the olive oil. I prefer the olive oil myself for the eggs because it gives it a very... I don't, I don't know what the right word would be for it, but it gives it a very delicious texture. <laughs> I prefer it at least. There are many different oils out there. I would suggest experimenting with all of them and I have used canola, canola oil a lot and that's that's very good I prefer olive oil myself but you really need a non-sticking agent that's the, the point here <laughs> you need a non-sticking agent and butter does work but I found that if you mix butter with an oil, another uh, with an oil it works better and so we've come to the end of our video, and that's what the final product would look like. I prefer to eat mine with hot sauce, but I hope you've enjoyed this video, and good luck cooking out there. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button.